الكرام سرايا المرابطين استهداف الشباب We sold our home uh, in July of last year in preparation for a retirement and moving out here so we could work on the bunker to build it out until the um, virus started spinning up. Mm -hmm. And then we realized because of my age and because of some health compromises that Mary has, we're both high risk. And uh, we decided to exchange four million neighbors for, <laughs> I don't know, 30 neighbors within the same radius out here. <laughs> I felt safe when I got here. It's just a piece you don't understand. It's so quiet and peaceful here. And the bunker is phenomenal. I mean, when you go in there, it's just like you feel really safe. I do. I feel safe. So, yeah, these things will withstand just about everything. The concrete is uh, one to two feet thick. Uh, it varies depending on the, uh, the top to the sides. And the dirt just is added protection, but the concrete itself is enough. This is um, our home away from home, or it will be once we get it built out. Not a whole lot to see now. It's just, it's a huge mess in here. I can show you the corner where we have some of our equipment set, our electrical equipment set up, and the corner where we have a bunch of tools and some water uh, treatment equipment. I mean, it's, you'd call it under construction. It's a colossal mess inside. <laughs> we've, we've just started putting up the first walls. <clears throat> I've, I've been out here working full time, uh, but then working on the bunker in the evenings. It, it requires additional planning, that's for sure. Because if you realize that you need a box of nails, the very closest box of nails is an hour round trip to go get it. And if you need to something, get something more something bigger or more complex it's a four-hour round trip to get it minimal and we're both country people i'll call <laughs> us uh we we were both raised in the country we were both in in situations where there weren't a lot of people around but we had family nearby and the hustle and bustle of the city and all of the complexities of getting to and from work and all that other stuff that you have to do to be a city dweller are things that neither of us have really ever been fond of in our lives. We've, we've been camping for years, you know, explicitly to get away from all of that, to go to places where it's quiet, where there aren't a lot of people. 